Hey, what's up again, everybody? Let's take a look at the Figure Eye Standard Android number 17. So typically in other kids, this will show you muscle build-up system. And number 17 and 18 has these special Android parts, basically just uh, internal parts that you can't really even see, but it's in there. Okay, box art, nothing too much to brag about. Take a look at the side of the box. So just showing the character, it looks like this has been painted. Uh, the joint, it actually comes with a gun and a hand that you can hold the gun. Some of the action poses. Looks like a couple of hands, uh, maybe three set with this hand holding the gun. Let's see, two facial expressions, pretty normal. Special effect parts. Oh, this is pretty cool, like energy barrier. Background, special effect part again. Uh, it doesn't list all the characters. Usually here it shows you all the characters. Materials, 2500 yen. I would have thought this would be a slightly cheaper kit since it's kind of skinny. It's kind of standard pricing. Let's take a look what's inside. See most of the clothing. Oh, quite a bit of stickers. So other than the two facial expressions, you get a few eyes looking in different directions. Other Jiro's local. Some shiny decals for the buckles. I think these are for the belt. Clothing, jean parts, the blue eyes. These are his socks. The gun holster. Whoa, this is pretty cool. The energy barrier, look how big it is. And you can actually see the wave in here, in the opposite direction. This is pretty big. This golf, shoes, clothing, some part of the ice. Let's see the stand, energy effect part. Pretty standard construction, two pieces and one part kept at the end. Seems to be a little bit on the smaller side. Faces, actually got the cutout for the eyebrows. Unlike Super Saiyans, the eyebrows usually touch directly to the eyes. You get two sets of hands and then one more for the gun. Hands out pretty small. His hair and clothing. Ooh, and the gun. Take a look at the manual right quick. Is there spot anything different? Whoa, that's pretty cool. The gun actually can go in there and stay in the holster. Cool, so no decals here. The hair assembly is quite different than what we've seen today. Uh, stickers for the eyes. So here's a little bit different. The standard belt or the one with the little connection in the back you can attach to the action base. So instead of plugging another piece of the back, I think this takes a little bit more effort to change out. So it looks fairly straightforward. More pictures here. Seeing most of those on the box and the uh, color guide. Cool. Oh, that'll be a fun build. I'll see you guys next time.